Until now, the MetaQuest lineup has been pretty straightforward, with just the Quest and the Quest Pro being the only variation since moving on from the Rift. However, this is all set to change with potentially five new headsets on the horizon over the next few years, and in this video, we'll walk you through the timeline of these upcoming releases to help you understand what's coming and when, so you can decide whether any of these headsets are worth your investment. So let's start with this year. 2024. As we all probably know by now, the Meta Quest 3S will be the next headset released by Meta. I won't dive in too deeply to this one, as I've already talked about it a lot, but essentially it's the Quest 3's hardware with a cheaper, more affordable frame. Picture the Quest 3, but with downgraded optics, aiming for a price of around 299 Now that the FCC filing has gone through, this headset is almost guaranteed to be released soon. If you own a Quest 2, this could be a cost-effective upgrade. The timing and leaks are eerily similar to those of the Quest 3 and Quest Pro. The only real unknown until it gets officially announced is the price. It could be less or it could be more, but we'll find out soon enough on September 25th. Another Meta device you might find interesting is Orion. These will be Meta's first pair of fully functional augmented reality glasses. Think of the Quest in pass-through mode, but in the form factor of actual glasses. Meta has been working on this for years, starting with Project Nazare, which might actually have been a precursor to Orion. Here's a clip to jog your memory. But the ultimate goal here is true augmented reality glasses, and we've been working on that too. And today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is the codename for our first full augmented reality glasses. Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends on WhatsApp and planning a game night. You can select a game, and then, as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. According to Road to VR, Orion will feature hologram displays, projectors, batteries, radios, speakers, cameras, and multiple sensors. And this will help bring everything I just shown in that clip to life. This has always been Meta's goal. And not to overhype it, but Boz mentioned in a previous AMA that these AR glasses are the most advanced piece of technology on the planet. And that's an incredibly bold statement. Now, I don't think the potential of fully functional AR glasses has been fully realised yet. Imagine wearing a Quest but in the form factor of a pair of glasses. That's always been a mind-blowing possibility to me. But, and it's a big but, Orion will only be showcased as a prototype. Rumours suggest we won't see a commercial version until 2027 but we could get a basic AR device in 2025. The model might have a simple viewfinder display for things like incoming text, QR code scanning, and real-time text translation from another language. These glasses could be released alongside a neural interface band that allows users to control them with hand gestures. Now, we've seen the neural band concept before, and if they're ready to ship a device like that, it would be a game changer for both AR and VR interaction. But that's 2025. What else can we expect in 2025? Well, it's not a Quest 4 yet, but it could be bespoke headsets from Xbox, Lenovo, and Asus. Now that Meta is giving these companies access to Horizon OS, we'll start seeing what they come up with. Let me read directly from Meta Horizon's OS announcement. Asus Republic of Gamers will use its gaming expertise to develop a new performance gaming-based headset. That one I'm pretty hyped about. If they manage to pull off something that could essentially mimic a PC inside your headset so you can play 2D games like on the ROG Ally. If that's the case, I'll definitely be buying one. Lenovo will tap into its experience co-designing the Oculus Rift S and its expert in engineering devices like the ThinkPad to develop mixed reality devices for productivity, learning and entertainment. And finally, Xbox and Meta have teamed up to bring xCloud Gaming Beta to MetaQuest, allowing people to play Xbox games on a large 2D virtual mixed reality screen. Now they're working on a limited edition MetaQuest inspired by Xbox. So it looks like we're getting a gaming focus headset, a productivity friendly AR device, and an Xbox themed Quest 3. The Xbox headset could be interesting or it could be really disappointing if it's just simply a reskin. The most intriguing part is why Meta would allow this in the first place. This tells me Meta doesn't care about hardware sales as long as the headsets run Horizon OS. That's a clear goal to get people to go over to the software, to get more people into VR and more people into the Meta ecosystem. But now moving on to 2026, when Meta plans to release the Meta Quest 4, but this time we're looking at two versions, Pismo Low and Pismo High. Both are expected to use the latest Snapdragon chipset, 
most likely the XR2 Gen 3, which could offer a significant leap over the XR2 Gen 2 in the Quest 3. The XR3 is expected to provide a boost in GPU performance, better thermal efficiency, and enhanced AI processing for more immersive experiences. For displays, Pismo Low might use the standard pancake lenses in combination with displays similar to the Quest 3. But Pismo High could feature micro OLED displays for superior contrast, colour, and brightness. This would mean a higher pixel density, reducing the screen door effect even further. Advanced eye tracking could also be part of the higher tier, leveraging the Snapdragon's built-in support for foveated rendering, which reduces computational load by only rendering what you're looking at, essentially. It's rumoured that Pismo Low is actually the standard Quest model, and Pismo High is more of a high-end Quest, more of a Quest Pro, which is the opposite of the combination of what we've seen with the Quest 3 and the upcoming Quest 3S. Based on those specs, the Quest 4 looks like to be a VR headset that fits what most people thought VR would be like. Mixed reality by them will be almost certainly the quality of the Vision Pro, and at that point the only thing left to desire would be form factor. And that brings us to 2027. Now, the Quest Pro 2 has been back and forth several times. One minute it's cancelled, the next it's back on. And I believe this confusion is because of the potential variations of another Quest Pro. But there's also another headset, Puffin. But before I talk about Puffin, I want to play this clip from Boz explaining the different models and why you should take them with a pinch of salt until they become official products. Yeah, in case any of you missed my update on threads, um, this happens like every six months. Uh, when we, we have lots of prototypes in development in parallel, uh, when we wind a prototype down, which we often do, you know, it's to make room for something else that we obviously think by definition is more exciting, more promising. Um, the, the mistake that gets made by journalists and on the internet, and even I'm sure by some people on my own team, is they, they, they want to give this prototype the product name that it might have gotten had it gotten to maturity. But it's not the same as that product. There's a bunch of candidates vying for that name, and only when they become production do they get that name. So um, we have high-end headsets uh, in development, <laughs> different prototypes. And by the way, I get it. If you're on that team, and you spent a bunch of time on it and you hope that yours is going to be the next one, then when it gets you know canceled, we redirect the resources. That's hard for people. They tend to talk about it and you get kind of uh, misleading reporting. So now when I talk about future headsets, they could actually be the same product, but with different design teams competing for that final title. Now, Puffin is expected to be a mixed reality headset, but in the form factor of glasses. This isn't to be confused with the Orion AR glasses, as I believe Puffin will be a more powerful device potentially featuring a puck-like external processor similar to the Vision Pro. While still in early development, the emphasis with Puffin is on a lightweight design for all-day wear, with AR functionality in a sleek glasses form. Expect transparent lenses for a seamless blend into the real-world environments, holographic displays and built-in sensors for spatial awareness. This could be a major step for another look into the future of mixed reality, bringing out of the bulky headset phase into everyday wearables. There is some confusion how Puffin fits into the timeline with Meta's lightweight AR glasses, but Boz mentioned there are different teams competing for the best product, so they could end up being part of the same product line. What we do know, there's a lot coming from Meta. Headsets are coming from all directions, but what I'm personally hoping for is a wider field of view and a new approach to controllers. But what's your dream VR headset? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.